Okay, thanks, bye. It's kind of sad, but my relationship with my phone is my longest, most intimate relationship. Everybody who knows me, they know what's going on in my life all the time because it's always on Snapchat stories or Instagram stories. Pretty much anything I do on my phone is a waste of time unless I'm doing something for work. I have little to no idea what I will be doing except for the fact that it involves my phone and kind of going off the grid a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna get it back. <laughs> oh my god. No. No. Wait, this is a joke. <laughs> oh no, this is the phone my grandmother has. I do like the look, but like functionally, what am I supposed to do with this? Okay, am I supposed to use this for a week? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it has a camera. How are you gonna go home This is where I say I love you guys, wish me luck, and hopefully I survive. Well, congrats, millennial. You can have it. I just... I can't look at it anymore. One last selfie before I go. It's the first official day. I'm taking this challenge very seriously. Someone over here doesn't know how to turn, <laughs> turn on her own phone. phone look at the era we live in, these privileged millennials these days. Like, you know, like the, the home screen that we have on our iPhones? This doesn't have that, so I don't know what to brush. I am currently in the bathroom. I have to go old school. I have to go to Staples. I don't know where Staples is, so I had to print out Google Maps. <laughs> okay, first comes first, learning how to fold a freaking map. Help me. So I added my parents' contacts for the first time today, and it was a struggle texting them. Instead of hitting the space bar, which I was trying to find, I hit send. It literally says this. I would go back to flip phones, to be honest. Like, I feel like life was just a simpler time. Like, we appreciated more when we had flip phones. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. I put that on my Tinder profile. <laughs> I actually had to ask my coworkers what they did over this past weekend, and likewise, they had no visibility into what my weekend looked like, so now I'm like super mysterious. So the alarm on the stupid flip phone did not go off. It's now 9.30, and I'm supposed to be at work at 9.30, so... I haven't charged all week, by the way, and it's still alive somehow. Now I realize how much battery smartphones actually drain. As long as I have something to tell me the time and something to tell me when the train comes, I am good. Oh, I am looking at Pornhub.com on a flip phone right now, and it's a horrible user experience. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go offline for this. I'm becoming very irritable very quickly. It is really hindering my work because I can't like get my emails, get my Slack messages. I miss emojis. This is my life now. We're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. You gotta turn around. So we're just gonna wander around the streets no, of New York I, I, while I, it's raining. Wait. Can I just look at your GPS? Am I allowed it's to do that? Over the past few days, I've been a lot more productive than I've been in a very long time because I'm not texting here and checking in with apps there. Today is Friday for the last day that I'm doing this stupid challenge. Uh, menu? I am vlogging from Hawaii today. After a week of no iPhone, I feel like I'm getting back from a little mini vacay, so I thought this was appropriate. Learned a trick with my phone, yeah. watch. I would get like an iPhone with yeah. a trick, an iPhone. At this point, I've gotten pretty freaking good at living life without an iPhone. I've even figured out some hacks with my flip phone. I'm going to treat myself to a nice dinner, and I think I might go tech-free for dinner. I mean, might just leave everything including the stupid flip phone. You would think it's like really dramatic, but like it's classical addiction where like you think you can't live without something and then you're like, I'm fine, the world is fine, they don't need my Insta stories and I don't need theirs. The main thing that I noticed was I was just keeping my head up more and like I was just looking around and noticing things I hadn't noticed before. I read parts of a couple different books. But it was just mainly like giving up social media that was kind of a struggle, especially because I did go out a lot. Oh my god, that's actually really cool. Right? You can put that on my Instagram. Thank you, Jade, I love you. Also, I had to carry around a map of Manhattan in my purse. If anything, this has made me more reliant on my iPhone because I felt like a part of me was missing. I wasn't so easily accessible 
and people couldn't reach me. I was just a lot more present in everything that I did and I've never been like so focused. Sometimes you just gotta live in the moment. It's better you looking your own life than like posting on social media and having other people envy yours. I just feel like I'm in a, in a better mental, spiritual place. My last words to this flip phone are I'm ready to be reunited with my iPhone. My baby! <laughs> feels good to have this back in my hands. It feels good and I feel like a complete person again. I'm gonna go take a bunch of selfies.